We are very uh, glad to see you again. Yeah, the pastor said that I'm a little bit wrong because it's not night but, uh, but the morning. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I'm trying to anyway I'm trying to talk at your language. <laughs> uh, thank you for, uh, th- thank you that uh, you have a sense of humor. It, it's very nice. I like it. Before we uh, will read the Bible together, uh, my wife would like to think about the love of our God. And love... And our love for each other. Because if we don't have love, as it's written, we are nothing, you know. So let's listen to the song. Millions of people are at the church right now. 
Millions of the people around the world, in Russia, United States, Thailand, Mozambique, and etc., are with the Jesus in their hearts. So let me share with you uh, greetings from uh, Russia. Our country is a little bit colder than Thailand. Because now, I suppose minus 15 degrees Celsius in the streets. But our hearts are hot about you. And we, are, we were praying about you about six or eight months previous. And now about 10 churches are praying about you and people around you living. Uh, because uh, for people is a very, very significant and the main thing to understand who is Jesus in their life. And our meetings in the evening is a good possibility to understand a very, very important things in our lives. Because most of people around the world and here also maybe don't uh, uh, know clearly what happens uh, when we uh, when death is over. People don't know what what will happen in the future. People uh, would like to know how to cope with a world of negative emotions. And many people would like to know uh, uh, about the end of this world. Will the world ever end or not? So this is the possibility for all us to be in the evenings and to support our faith. To invite all people we know here and to praise the Lord. Because we are the part of the God's family. Let's uh, let let me tell you a story. You know, uh, my first education is a military education. I was uh, studying a military uh, aviation subject in uh, during five years, and then I entered at the uh, highest military pilot school. And then uh, uh, I've understood that Jesus saves me and I'm not in army now. And 
but uh, yes, but this uh, story is a little bit about the the military forces. Ah, the You know, many countries had many armies, and the United States the same. Has an army. You look at how you are not more, the more you One day, one of the soldiers in the US Army, uh, he had received his undress clothes, uh, uniform, weapon, and going to the operation. Yeah, it was very hot weather, but uh, after two days, uh, he realized something interesting. Realized that his undress clothes is clean. Yeah, it's it's a little bit wet because we uh, sweat sometimes, you know. Yeah, but he see that it's clean and not uh, stink, and his socks are not stink also. Yeah, especially for military uh, uh, people who are several days in desert, it's uh, strange, it's unusual. Yeah, this soldier has a sense of humor and asks his commander, what is happening? And his comment said that he is a part of experiment. One of scientists called Jeff Owens have been working in U.S. Air Forces. And he invented a special material uh, which is able to kill bacteria on the skin. Yeah, to kill the dirty makers, yeah. And this process of self-cleaning to force the material to reflect the water. To resist uh, the coloring and also to kill the bacteria, which results to uncomfortable smell. So the scientists have uh, have spent more than five year five years uh, to produce the, this unique material. Uh, and it, uh, this, prog uh, this project, uh, he said, uh, project. Because uh, the Owen steam uh, by microwave radiation has bring a special parts with the special reagents and other necessary parts to clean uh, the clothes. Uh, and during the U.S. truth operation in Iraq, they have understood that the most path soldiers died not from the weapon, but from infection by bacteria. 
จอตุชโชอมูตัวชโชเขาที่เฉยอิรักนะอย่าจอตุชโชไม่การเดอสิ่งจงตัวจียอมาพอแต่สิวิยอกำมอว่าฉุดตัวเขาเลยรู้ใจ So they were very happy and made the T-shirts and boxes for soldiers. Linda, the 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 young she had when they don't change their to shoe or not, they don't wear the shoe or not, they don't do the whole job. Can you or do or do do job? And and that man uh, was wearing uh, for uh, several weeks these clothes. Constantly, constantly. You go to the man, you take on the do job, do shoe. And they saw the the bacteria was killing chemically, and the T-shirt and boxes were clean chemically, as said Dr. Owens. Eh, dia, takkan ilin tau nana? Lihat lo, nu tu tu cah nana nu cah kan jauh cing hu, dia cah bacteria hau nana luce, mah cah cua nana tua itu le. Let's add, let. Imagine that we have uh, uh, the same clothes. Clothes uh, which clean itself. For kids is good. Kid, kids. Yeah. If you cooking and uh, and something is on. It's cleaning a little bit of time. Yeah, the job, yeah, job. Me, you move, she move, go, ah, the she, lo, ah, lu, chow, lo, ah, ta, if lu, chow, nun, zuo, nun, ah, tao, ta, le. For medicine, she in hospital with the people working, it, it's a nice clothes. Yeah, the, the, when you know, move, chow, chow, ku, chua, le, nan, chie, ku, ye, rong, heng. If you are a sportsman and running hard, it's, it's for you. Because 26.2 miles, it's nothing for you. You are clean. You smell good. Yes, and the cost is a little higher than a, a usual clothes. I think you, you understand what we will talk about right now. Because I thought about the clothes, the Christian clothes in our life. Let's together open the Bible at Matthew chapter 22. And read it together. Gospel according to the Matthew, the Holy Bible, chapter 22. And we will read from the first verse. For, uh, for my uh, friends from United States, uh, if you don't mind, I would like to read in English also, because we are s we are supporting our faith. Matthew 22. First, Jesus spoke to them again in parables, saying. Uh, the kingdom of heaven is like a king who prepared a wedding banquet for his son. And he sent his servants to those who had been invited to the banquet to bail them to come, but they refused to come. Then he said some more servants and said, Tell those who have been invited that I have prepared my dinner. My oxen and uh, fattened cattle have been 
butchered and everything is ready. Come to the wedding banquet. Yeah, we see here that the, the God invites everyone, but what's happened really? We see what happens right now in, in our time. But the people paid no attention and went off one of his field, another to his business. And the rest seized his servants, mistreated them, and killed them. You know, uh, in Thailand we have a religious freedom. But in some Middle East or in other countries, if you say about the cheeses, you will die. Yes. So, the king was enraged. He sent his army and destroyed those murders and burned their city. And then he said to his servant, The wedding banquet is ready, but those who invited didn't deserve to, uh, to come. And the next uh, words confirm that, uh, that, that, that God loves everyone. And he invites everyone. And he said, Go to the street corners and invite to the banquet anyone you find. And after that, we read that the servants went out into the streets and gathered all the people they could find. Both good and bad and the wedding head was filled with guests. If you understand that you are a not good person, but you are coming, Jesus accepts you. But when you are coming, something uh, must happen inside of you. Uh, let's uh, read further. But when the king came in to see the guests, he notized one man there who was not wearing wedding clothes. Uh, so, what is the problem? Uh, what do you think? What is the problem? What the king said? He may say, you, 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 you can say, what is the problem of this man? Yes, the problem is clothes, yes? Not wearing wedding clothes. Uh, let's read further. Friend, he asked, how did you get in here without wedding clothes? Uh, 
The man was speechless. The, then the king told the attendants, tie him hand and foot and throw him outside into the darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Because many are invited, but few are chosen. We are John Lindo to your dog, get down on the watch you to see your telling your your dog side. Yes, the problem is a clothes. But what does it mean? A wedding clothes for us today. Because I don't want to be, uh, to be outside in the darkness. And uh, when uh, we will be weeping and gnashing. What does it mean to have the wedding clothes for us? So the problem was the, the wedding clothes. If, if, we, if we only have the good wearing, but we don't have prepared for eternity inside. Because the wedding clothes is that inside us, it's a language. language. We have another another passage in the in the Bible which said about the clothes. And the question is how we can get this wedding clothes. Uh, uh, let's together open the uh, gospel according to Mark uh, chapter 5. Yes, chapter 5. This is the case when Jesus has again crossed over by boat to the other side of the lake. And uh, yes. And uh, this uh, Followed and uh, pressed around him. And a woman was there who had been subject to uh, bleeding for 12 years. Yeah, she she had suffered a great deal under the care of many doctors and has spent all she had, uh, yet instead of getting better, she grew worse. This woman understands that she has a very big problems, but she understands that she must be close to Jesus. And when uh, she heard about Jesus, she came up behind him in the crowd and touched his cloak. Because she uh, thought, I just touch his clothes, I will be healed. 
Gud gjorde sådan det så gemmer. And amazing thing happens further. Ja, gæppe hørte du tyve dage der sin dag. Immediately her bleeding stopped, and she felt in her body that she was freed from her suffering. Da sin dag, da du på nede og tænkte, sin dag til bong lø. When we believe and come to Jesus, not just to sit at the church on the church, in the church, but uh, whole heart bringing to Jesus. And trying to be close to him as we can. Something is happening in our life. Immediately her bleeding stopped. The key word is a uh, whole heart. Okay. Because sometimes yes, we we yes we believe. We think that we believe. But actually we know about Jesus, about eternity, about the church, about the salvation, resurrection. And something maybe we like, maybe we love, uh, stopped us uh, before we came close to Jesus. So if we if we want to to have a white clothes wedding clothes we must go by through uh, um, to give all our heart to Jesus also we have another passage in the bible which are uh, supporting my face in that I can have the white clothes. Because uh, first of all, I see that the Jesus has white clothes right now. And some people at heaven had also white clothes now, but they were living here. So I understand that if it's possible for that people, it's possible for me in my life. First of all, uh, let's open the gospel according to Mark, uh, chapter 9, verse 2 and 3. After six days, Jesus took Peter, James, and John with him and led them up a high mountain where they were all alone. Uh, uh, there he was transfigured before them. ยังโกบอเทียยอนเลยเต้าเจมูสอดตรงเทียจีเอซูรู้เจ๋อเต้าเป๋าเต้าเลยเป๋ยลิงเด้อขอมัวเจสูเต้าหนาลู้เจ
I see that the life of Jesus is the best example for me. And Jesus, when he was in, 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 in the body living, was tears, was suffering, and etc. He was with us in our sufferings. But, uh, but as example, I see that uh, some moments his clothes were the, the whitest. It, it, it was a, a real and the symbolic also. But he is not alone. Who had a white clothes? Because, because in prophetic uh, vision, uh, John uh, in, in Revelation chapter four uh, see the throne in heaven. Yes, uh, Revelation chapter 4, verse 4. Surrounding the throne, there were 24 other thrones, and seated on them were 24 elders. And they were dressed in white and had crowns of gold on their hands, uh, heads. So, my brothers and sisters, we have a perfect laundry. Because if you bring all our heart to Jesus, He gives us the wedding clothes, white clothes. If you were not baptized, or if you... Uh, uh, if you didn't start a new life, you can do that right now. Yes, you, you can start a new life uh, from this day. Because he had prepared for you eternity. Happiness here in that earth. And there in at heaven. Of course, sometimes uh, life uh, to, to live it's not easy, you know. But remember please. When you have tears, Jesus with you have a tears also. When, when, you, when people don't understand you, He with you. And He would like to help you to live. Today he is ready to give you a white clothes. Let's today praise the God for that. And uh, we together 
I, I would like to ask him today to bless uh, all of us. To have a white clothes. To give him all his life. Every day. Every minute. Every thought. Everything. Let's pray together. I invite you uh, to pray. Our Heavenly Father, and thank you that you is the best example of life for us. Thank you very, very much that you died for us. Thank you very, very much that you are with us uh, after, uh, after you came uh, from the test. Thank, thank you, God, that you are with us in our sufferings. Please forgive us, us if uh, we are not with you uh, by whole our hearts. Yes, sometimes we like kids asking you if something, asking you about another something, but not live as you would like we to live. We believe that you had prepared something the best for us. So I ask you right now, please help each, uh, uh, each of us to understand where we can, uh, where we must be. What to, what to do and how to live. Because, because for young people, for example, uh, sometimes it's not clear what, what way to go in this life. And not only for young people. All we are sometimes uh, don't know what to do every day. And the first of all, now we understand that the first, the main thing is to give you all our heart to have the white clothes. So we are giving to you all our hearts. Today, tomorrow, and the day after tomorrow, all our life, please give us the possibility to have a happiness. Understanding of people, peace in our hearts and blessings. The main blessing to live with peace with you. And we so impressed that you have prepared for us Houses. in the holy city. Thank you very much that all you have done for us. For the Jesus name we ask in you and thanks you. Amen. Amen. Мы семья, мы одна семья, 
Иисус наш Господь. И я так рад, что Он собрал нас вместе, и я так рад, что Отец наш вечный Бог. Ты и я, мы одна семья, ты и я, брат с сестрой. И я так рад, что наш Отец Небесный дарует нам и радость, и покой. Мы с тобой, кровью одной от греха спасены. И я так рад, что Он собрал нас вместе, И я так рад, что Отец наш вечный Бог. Мы семья, family. мы одна семья, we are family. Иисус, Jesus. наш Господь, is our God. и я так рад, что Он собрал нас вместе, и я так рад, что Отец наш вечный Бог. И я так рад, что Он собрал нас вместе.